Hi guys, it's Coverture Senior Beauty Editor Hannah Baxter, and I'm going to walk you through my soothing hair and skin Sunday spa routine. So the first thing I do is take a shower and use a treatment shampoo called Dr. 14. I use it because my scalp gets really dry and irritated. Sometimes I'll see buildup or a little bit of dandruff and I wanna make sure that I get my scalp pH balanced again and I'm ensuring that I have some really beautiful natural oils like lavender and peppermint and eucalyptus to sort of soothe any irritation and ensure that my hair is looking and feeling its best. I work it into my scalp and then I'll use this nifty little tool to sort of give myself a head massage and I just ensure that the creamy foamy texture really penetrates every bit of my hair and scalp and that I'm reaping the full benefits of the product. So after I'm done treating my hair and scalp in the shower, I move on to my complexion. So the first thing I do is give myself a little bit of a steam I use a cotton or a muslin cloth and run it under some hot water, wring it out, and then leave it on my face for about 10 to 20 seconds. It just helps open up the pores and make sure that my skin can absorb all of the beautiful ingredients from whatever mask I'm going to use. This day, my skin was feeling a little bit dry, so a hyaluronic acid mask was the best choice. I especially love a sheet mask because you can kind of let it marinate on your skin and just give yourself sort of a mini spa session. You don't have to rush it. I always make sure to tap in the serum from a sheet mask onto my neck and chest as well. That skin is really delicate and is probably more in need of hydrating and nourishing ingredients even than your face. I love to use a face roller to sort of roll it out ensure that my skin is absorbing all of the hydrating ingredients and it also helps to sculpt my cheekbones, eliminate puffiness, and promote lymphatic drainage. So once I leave on the mask for 15 to 20 minutes, I peel it off and then this is my little secret. If you have a little bit of serum left over from the mask, you should wring it out and tap it into your face so that you're getting the full benefit of those ingredients. And that's it. My skin is finally feeling hydrated. My scalp is free of any irritation. My hair is looking really full and voluminous. You get the results that you're looking for, but you don't have to use a million and one products. You just need to look for really effective ingredients and make sure that you're using them consistently.